Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy! And today we are starting our playthrough of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, the See? sequel to the first Danganronpa game, Trigger Happy Havoc, which we also played in full on my second channel. There'll be a link to that playlist in the description. See, we told you we'd play this. Yeah, I think a lot of people watching didn't even know that we played the first one, probably, but yeah, if you are unfamiliar with Danganronpa, you should not watch two. Go or to the play first one. Until you've watched or played the first one. Right. It that is, would be uh, silly. There is continuity. But yeah, Kimmy's my girlfriend, if you don't Hi. know. Hi! I exist. I'm a real person. You know, you can't say that anymore because you've been in 26 videos of the first playthrough. I should have said that in the very first episode of the very first game. <sighs> but yeah, Never. so. This is part one, obviously. It's going on this channel, but part two through 20 whatever are gonna be on my second channel, John Wolf. <laughs> the links are in Love the it. description. You are, you had an espresso tonight. All right, John's I didn't know she was funny. gonna be hyped up on caffeine. Anyway, let's go. It's from let's the beginning. This. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <gasps> we have to come up with all new voices. Yeah, do Japanese, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, that'd be great. I know a lot of people recommended that we play this on mean, but I don't really see a point in upping the difficulty for a visual novel. It basically just means that if I screw up the mini games that happen during trials, it'll just kill the pacing. We'll have to try them over and over again. Oh no. And the mini games during the trials are harder in this game than the last one, so yeah. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go medium. Not easy. Some people thought we played the last one easy. It was just an easy game. It was just medium. For yeah, you. It was just, yeah. I would so have struggled anyway. with it, hey. but. Here we go. <gasps> Is it Makoto? Oh my God, I'm so excited. Can you hear me? That's not Makoto. No. <gasps> Is that older Makoto? It is not Makoto. Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also. No, everyone else feels the same too. We're outside? Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Ooh. Think, 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 think. What are we wanting the poo now? Think, 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 think. That was a good one. I thought it no. was cute. <laughs> <laughs> I have to play the foil. Because you're so happy and upbeat. I got to be the cynical one. Okay. Otherwise, the dynamic doesn't work. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? As Go I ahead. gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right. I... I... Died! No. Oh. Started. I'm a machine. You're, you're I'm a computer. A <gasps> We're alter ego. Okay. There it is. The name of the game. What does it all mean? Again, if you haven't seen or played the first one, you gotta do it. Otherwise, this won't make any sense and you won't appreciate it. Yeah. You gotta appreciate it. But, uh, like I said, I think this game is great. Should I be reading this or should you be reading this? I should be reading this. Okay. I just can't remember how he sounds. So. Okay. That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. How beautiful. Aww. And when that long awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I'd just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. That sounds amazing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hope's Peak Academy. Surprise, surprise. No! <laughs> <laughs> that place was so much more than a school to me. Yep. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Very familiar beginning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. 
It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. How beautiful. It's like an Ivy League high school. There should be more of those. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Not even a little bit. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. Peak. <laughs> there are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. What? Is he not an Ultimate? Well, I guess I could put that aside for now. Uh-oh. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. It'd Here be nice go. to know who you are. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. Oh. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why, to feel like a member of society, to become someone I can be proud of. I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I always, 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 until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why, hope. I might have admired talent individuality, but I have finally forever tried my best. Finally, you can't. True, three plus D. <laughs> huh? Uh huh? What? What is this? It's a door. It's a door. There's a door. Imagine him saying it in slow motion. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What need? No. I should hurry. I hope these are all android people. You're, you're taking some leaps in logic right now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, hey, Boobs McGee. I got another huh? one. Who goes there? Uh. Um, are you feeling all right? You look quite pale. Uh, um. Hey, could you be... You're also a freshman at this school, right? Uh, then you're all... See for There's yourself? a lot of girls. We're all freshmen too. There are a lot of girls. These guys, everyone? The freshmen who were accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. The ultimates? I assume freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? Hm. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? It's like Piakia. Huh? Eh? Ah, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my very best to act cool. The guy looks like Byakuya and Hifumi had a child. <laughs> I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat in the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's 
Weird. Um, excuse me. What? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so... Is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hmm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. <laughs> just do your give it your best shot. You don't know what she sounds like, but just give it your best shot. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Trying to get her back to my... <laughs> Sounds like Toad from Nintendo. Ow! <laughs> Another he would be heebie. Okay. <laughs> eh? This is everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom. And this guy is the 16th student. This isn't Byakia, is it? We don't know who he is. Okay. Question marks. He just sounds ignorant. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. <laughs> what? And just what are we gonna talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Huh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realized it, you were in this classroom. Then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? It, it sure is strange. Nope, nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey, hey, what do you mean stupid looking? So in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here and you don't know why. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? But that happened to me too, but... That dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. Oh, even, it's just, even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. You're very close. Oh, really? Yeah, you just have to be... Wynier? Yes. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm on it. She is... Yeah. Is she this season's Toko? Oh. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence, then? So in other words... Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Wh who's responsible? I'm so what excited is it? right now. It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Uh-huh. Ha! I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal! Huh? What do you mean? So what I mean is... I mean it's a minor problem! Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave! What does that mean? Huh? What do you mean, we can't leave? Impossible! Uh, seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Clatter, clatter, clatter! Good job. Yeah. Uh -huh. It won't open! I, I can't open this! Huh? Huh? Why? <laughs> A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. But that door wouldn't budge at all. Sorry, you have to poop. <laughs> That's sad. Oh. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. It looks what? like a stick. I was just not anticipating that, <laughs> I just have to say. I'm so glad you're getting to meet all the characters. I love this cast. Okay, good, because this saying. is weird as hell so far. Okay. Huh? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She's right. It's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Also, quick note. This is my first time seeing any of these characters. She has, she so is if my totally voice has changed for them, it's because I'm still trying to figure them out. Just, I have played the game all the way through. Just 
Just I just wanted to said throw that, that out beginning. there. Yeah. I've played it all the way through. It's not blind for me, but it's blind for Kimmy. Yeah. I think it's a format that works pretty well for a yeah. playthrough. <laughs> I think it does so, too, yeah. She won't be looking at any of the comments because I know you guys are assholes and you spoil things. Well, not all of you. Some That's of right. You. Some of you, though. Some of you, though. We're very yeah, disappointed so, in some of you. If, you. if you're planning on ruining it for Kimmy, sorry. It's not going to happen because <sighs> I house. don't read the comments. Not while I'm still around. <laughs> okay. Except for the ones about me laughing because those are funny. Uh, oh. Just give it your best shot. She just went like, uh. Okay, I didn't even hear. Yeah, she just went like, uh. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'm freaking out right now. I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. Still, so a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. I know I sound screwed? like Captain Kirk, but he sounds like that. <laughs> 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 he sounds like fucking Captain Kirk. Okay. Sorry, that was funny. <laughs> Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? Pieces. Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? Uh-oh. The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak Academies? <laughs> However... <laughs> But, according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. What? They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! Ah, oh, you're wrong! This is not an entrance exam! What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! Hey, fat ass! Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? Then whose is it? Um... Um, it's actually mine! <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps... It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright! I see everyone has arrived! Let's begin! What?! <laughs> Why is it a bunny?! <laughs> what is that? What?! <laughs> It's just great to see your reaction. I told you for like, like at first, you'd be like, what the fuck is this? I have so many questions. Oh, and I know we're not even like They won't be answered to anytime it. soon. Oh um, God. It looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. I love her voice. Yeah, I it's, love it. I want to squeeze her too. She's death. like the best voice in the game. Goo! Magical miracle girl, Usami, AKA, Usami, I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. I love this with the cello in the background where it's like, you're gonna die. Yeah. She's not what she seems. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Hi, Usami. Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. <laughs> what is with his voice? It's hard to do his voice. I can't really do it. So I believe you. I'm yeah. trying to do like a substitute. What's with that talking chihuahua? <laughs> That's a chihuahua? Everyone. Does everyone here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> That's what I am! A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot! Oh. H hold on, let me process this first. I'm sorry, does she say singing? Am I gonna have to sing for her at some point? Okay. Okie dokie! Um, um, what do you guys think? I I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. <laughs> it's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Whoa, now. 
Oh man, you're gonna love this guy. I'm very excited. Mm. Even if it's remote control, doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. His teeth are so sharp. It's never addressed either. His sharp teeth? It's he has never like addressed. Fangs. I know. It bothered me. They never address it. It's just like a style thing. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. So don't think about it. It's I movements. hope he like files them in his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said, Come on. it seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. What did you say? S school trip? Come on. Hey, what do you mean, school trip? <laughs> A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with the lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. Well, we're not looking for such a literal answer. Ding, 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 ding. Now let's depart for the fun school trip. Depart? What, 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 what? I want to go to there. <laughs> huh? Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. Yep, go with it, man. The classroom collapsed like a stage set. And what appeared before me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What the hell is this? No matter how hard I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. This is weird music. Uh, I'm digging it. I love this track. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency! Where are we? Why? Huh? What's going on? Everyone! Everyone, please stay calm. <laughs> there is no reason to panic. See, look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on, give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um, where, you ask? Well, obviously we're... <laughs> out where it's better! Out where it's wetter! Out by the sea! <laughs> I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? You're almost there. You just gotta... I need to hear her talk. You gotta get a little whinier. Okay, I'll, I'll do my best. Whiny, whiny, whiny. Um, you know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Something like that. But we were just at school, and now we are by the sea. This is impossible. No problem. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. Hold on a sec. But, like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. Sh she's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope's Peak Academy. I see. I also don't know what that girl sounds like, so her voice is all over the place yeah, right now. Yeah, it might take until the end of the first trial for you to learn some of the voices. Yeah, because we haven't heard all of them yet. Some of them yeah. is just like... And they just have little sound bites like, hey! Or like, or like uh, no. I can't uh, get a lot from... Uh, this game's... What the heck is... Jeez. You'll hear that <laughs> a lot. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is you. Oh, no, this is you. Oh, this right, right. She's Usami, right. Hope's Peak Academy. I see, I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope's Peak Academy. Then in that case... Alrighty. Please don't forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's please why forget we're... about Hope's Peak Oh, please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Thank you. <laughs> huh? Bastard. 
the hell do you mean we should forget about it? Bastard! Hey, what are you? Just what are you scheming? What? What? I'm not scheming anything! I'm doing this for everyone's sake! I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart! I don't believe her for a second. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever! So please, there's no need to worry at all! Wait! Island? Did you just say island? Yup! And it certainly is beautiful! It was prepared just for us! An island free from other people and danger! Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other. Like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Yeah. Yeah, so scary. What are you thinking? Then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. Hmm. What did you say? Heart-throbbing school trip? That's right. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey-dovey, heart-throbbing school trip is... Everyone's homework! What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then! Let the heart-throbbing school trip begin! My voice is a lot higher pitched than hers. No, no, you're, you're doing a good, a great job, though. Oh, it's thank just, you. Hers is kind of a little more, it's like... a little bit more down here. Yeah, yeah. I and, just need to make hers higher pitched since I have a lot of girls who are higher yeah. pitched. Because I don't want them all to sound the same. And she kind of emphasizes different words a little bit more than okay. like having a flow to her sentences. Okay. I'm not like, Less I'm not like critiquing or anything. I'm no, just, it's it's helpful because again, like I've heard just, her say like a sentence. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once you hear her talk more, I think you'll... Okay. Yeah. So she's more like word focused, less phrase yeah, she focused. She says things so cute. I don't know how she does it. It's okay. Great. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slower, slowly lowering, <laughs> my mind ground to a halt. <laughs> what? What? This is the intro. Look Sonia, how, never mind. Look how happy it is. It's insanely happy. Soda. Yeah, his last name's Soda. Oh no! What was that? She's evil. So I have a question. Welcome to Dangan Island. Is that Biakia? We'll see what his name is. So how many are we starting out with this time? Wow, it says his name is Byakio Togami. Isn't that weird? That's so crazy! I wonder why that is. I guess he uh, did some emotional eating after the last one, which who can blame him? <laughs> I would. Poor Byakia. Of course, they have to pick the person I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> uh, okay, don't look at all that. Hey, <laughs> can you hear me? Oh, hey, this is. Oh, we're back started. to the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also 
No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Kind of hope that this is Byakuya's kid. It's hey. It's not his kid. Well, it's just like the next generation, you know? Alright. Like well, that would be interesting! We don't know yet what the timeline is. Okay, that's fair. Do we find out? Is that like a thing? I wanna know. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. the only answer I can give. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Hey, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> leave me alone. Th there's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean. The sun's rays beaming down on me. The soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this, why? Am I here at a place like this? Why are you upset about it? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. They I know I'm making them sound kind of similar, but I'm trying to differentiate them. It's hard. <laughs> it is kind of hard. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. They're basically the same as the first game. With the mouse, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. If the reticle responds, press the left mouse button. You can then examine that person or object. Also, you can shift your point of view with the WASD keys. Plus, if you press the tab key, you can use a mysterious power to see everything you can examine. The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. Now then, please search this beast thoroughly and progress the story. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're so welcome. The crystal clear, shining blue sea is perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. I would be, I think, yeah. Hmm, is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. Time What's with to this get guy? Your tan on. How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. Let's talk to him some more. Let's at least learn his name. Right? Before I talk to that guy, I should try to understand the situation I'm in first. Okay, let's look at the monitor. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is this being used for? What else do I need to look at? Oh, the palm tree? Coconut, Coconut tree. Coconut tree. <laughs> I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree. But now's not the time for me to be impressed by it. The what? Hey. So, how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened, but why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Nagito? Nagito. Nagito. He's the ultimate lucky student. That's interesting. Oh. Like Makoto. Yeah. Is that why he looks so much like Makoto? He doesn't look that much like Makoto. He looks kind of like Makoto. In my Makoto. opinion. Uh, along with my introduction, I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Hope's Peak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. See, he looks like Makoto and Kyoko had a child. Wow, you solved the riddle. It's Makoto and Kyoko's offspring. Wouldn't that be awesome? It's not. I won't spoil anything, but I'll just I am say gonna... you're, off, you're way off track with the kids thing. I know, but <laughs> I do like just okay. throwing out nonsensical okay. theories, so. Like, I mean, how old does Byakuya look? About the same age, right? Yeah. It's almost like a year later or something. 
Yeah, there's a couple potential explanations. I hope it's like an alternate dimension or something like That's that. That's one of them. It could be an alternate dimension. Um, it could be like a direct sequel. Like this takes place Directly a year after, after okay. or a couple years after. But then why doesn't he remember anything? Unless they wipe their memories again. Hmm. And then... Spoiler alert! Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, there are a couple other possibilities, too. But okay. We'll just find out. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. <laughs> that's why we're here. <laughs> I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, that's what I'm called, anyway. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one student is ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery? Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? I love that we're not playing that character this time. I know. That's cool, to see it from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Yeah, because it was just the ultimate lucky student over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Someone like me? I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope's Peak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, the so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. <laughs> Holmes Peak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Oh, honey. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope's Peak Academy. So for that, I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Ah, uh, sorry. I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Um, yeah. I guess that's it for my introduction. He's hmm. so happy. I know. He's just a chill dude. Hmm. Nagito Komaeda, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hmm. Then, let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words, and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Oh my god. He doesn't remember. Uh, huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Ah, uh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. I mean, it's not like he's trying to remember what he had for lunch. Like, yeah, yeah. that's kind of a big thing to forget. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Sometimes I wish conversations could go like that. <gasps> oh. Hey, did something just beep? Yeah, I know, right? What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from the inside of my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was passing them out earlier. Remember? <laughs> oh, right. You seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember... But, what is this? It's an e-handbook! What the? Where, where'd you come from? I'm sorry. Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I 
you know what? I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um... Anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. Th this device is that important? I shall explain. I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all of the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right. Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. Love, love. Love, love. Hey. She's gone. <laughs> Bye. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. Y you're probably right, but more importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Oh wait, that was Nagito. Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. Th that's also true, but where'd everyone go? Perhaps. Maybe they're exploring the island as well? Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? <laughs> so, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. All right. Shall we get going then? Well, he's a sweet young man. But hopefully, is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's the tropical climate, or is it that what's her name, Usami's fault? What happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. R right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? Sheesh, you are now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the handbook with the F1 key. It's super easy. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card, which documents everybody's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and load your game inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. But wait, there's more! You can also view the transcript of the F2 key. There, that's all there is about the e-handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. Now then, please go forward to look for everyone else. All right, you can exit the beach with the R key. Thank you. Leave here. Hey. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually. To be honest, before I arrived at this school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Huh? You don't know? So we're obviously not the ultimate internet boy. <laughs> this school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Remember, Makoto also did that. Right. So he doesn't know who we are then. Like, we're not on the message board. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Then, was I also... Hmm. Mm, I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. Because <laughs> you're boring. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted to Hope's Peak Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help out too. So why don't we begin making your introductions? Uh, okay, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone on the, else on the island. Then... I can't tell if this guy is just... 
pushy, like for the game's sake, or if he's like weirdly He's acting pushy. as tutorial boy right now. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, I should apologize. There was something I forgot to tell you. If you look at the map in your e-handbook, you'll be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to any location to play displayed as go. Also, when you travel to a point with an exclamation mark, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. Okay. All right, let's just fucking go. Let's just get oh. the fuck out of here. Look at these transitions, though. Oh, they're, they're pretty first, cool. I first island. Hmm. Travel on the island can be done oh through this God. screen. You can move with the WASD keys. You can run by holding the shift key while you move. If you press the Q and E keys, you can also instantly move to the next area. When the re reticle, reticle? Yeah. When the reticle responds, you can go inside places by pressing the left mouse button. You probably realized it by now, but you happen to have your very own pet inside your e-handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking to places instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. Don't you love when I help? I love it. So this I'm is how helpful. you move around. Oh, we get to explore more. Wow. This. We're like a cricket. Let's go to the central island first. Okay. Hajime. Oh. <clears throat> Hajime. <clears throat> It looks like if we go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? <laughs> That's what we're going there to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? <laughs> Run away. Duh. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Central Island! This is pretty interesting. So we're not at the school. This is so bizarre. Sure doesn't look like it. I kind of hope we're in like a um a uh What are the rooms in Star Trek? Where you huh. go? What is this? It says five on it. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. So this is a tropical themed Dangan Rumpa? Hmm. I hope so. It looks like there's another island on the other side of the bride bridge. Holodeck! Sorry. Zero out of ten game. We're stopping right now. Belongs in the trash. There's a typo. Of the bride. <laughs> I'm, par I'm parodying you guys right now in the comments. Some of you. But it seems we can't cross it. What? I remember the word. It was hollow deck. Yeah, that seemed to be the case. <laughs> okay. okay. Huh. Look at those waves! I know, crazy. Good God! Right? That's like start of a terrible so, storm. Oh. Hang on. We gotta check on our pet. We have a pet. Do we get to name it? Chibimi? Is that its name? Chibimi. That's what the baby baby is called. Now, we're gonna have to clean She's up after so the pet because it's gonna shit all over the place. And we're gonna have to give it presents to raise its hope meter. Anyway, so. Do we have a Tamagotchi? Yes. Okay, so. Do we get to play games with it? Watch this. This is how you fast travel with Q and E. You just Whoa! press Q and he goes, zoom. I'm ashamed to say, I kind of forgot that that was a thing in the tutorial, and so I manually ran around most of the game. It's okay, I did that in the game I'm streaming right now. I just realized in chapter two that I like, could run. I mean, I fast traveled, but. That's awesome. Yeah. Jabberwock Park. Jabberwocky. Hmm. So this is a park. What is this? A park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> it feels so nice. Such a laid-back attitude. Just a nice fella. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. Right. If being the key word. Let's go talk to Boyakula. How are your introductions going? We haven't started yet. I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may have already noticed, but you have a level assigned to you. It's up there in the corner. It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various activities such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you'll become stronger than you were before. <clears throat> Hang on. Are you okay? Every time you level up, you'll become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. 
Let's talk to this guy. What do you want? I what can't do you believe want? it's him! Th this guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Don't be mean. Ah, Biakia. Have time for a small introduction? Hmm. Introduction? <laughs> Come on, Hajime. Um, hello. My name is Hajime Hanata. He has a really nice My sounding name. name. Biakuya Togami. Still it's the ultimate affluent so progeny. What happened? <laughs> I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. Uh, I can tell this guy's thumbing his nose at me. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's Biakia for you. What do you mean? Actually, that guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations and his net worth is, well, enormous. How admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. <laughs> you there, Hajime, was it? Huh? Tell me. Why did Hope's Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? I just um, burped a little, so I'm sorry if that got caught. Thing is... <laughs> sorry. I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. Hmph, <laughs> how foolish. All right. Same old Biakia. Yeah, nothing's um, changed. Yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His build and the overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? We got a hope fragment. Woo! <laughs> This is interesting. It's a bronze statue of various animals. Plus, it's pretty huge. So it's like an eagle, a horse, a Amazing. tiger, and a snake, and a man? And they'll, I'm sure they'll point it out. Wow, what a grand statue. Yeah, it's grand, but isn't it also kind of creepy? What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. It sure is grand. The silent symbol, huh? Hmm. Let's see, there's a tiger, a snake, like a eagle. A stallion. Oh, sorry, that's a vulture, it looks like, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. And look, it's got the uh, ruffle. And it has the beak it? like a vulture. Yeah. Does it have like a head thing? I don't like a know. halo of Can't feathers. Really see. Yeah, the little feather ruffle. Anyway, so that's the central island. See, there's two, and then we're back at one. So, is yeah. this where we came in? Yeah. Okay. First island. I know. Okay, got it. I know this is kind of dorky, but uh, I remember where everything is. So, where do you want to go? Do you want to go left? I mean, or you right? just played it, so that's yeah, not I dorky. Yeah, I just finished this a couple weeks ago. Um. Well, Let's go to the left. There's a building there. Let's visit the ranch. Look at the let's cows! Yeah, let's go. Let's go meet everybody. That's what this first video is gonna be. Is us meeting everybody. Usami Corral. <clears throat> this looks like a ranch, though there aren't many animals around. Right? I found it. Out. out. <laughs> oh, you found it out. You again. Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I... I can show up anywhere, anytime! The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island! Ta-da! It's all thanks to this handy-dandy magic stick! Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about that toy she's holding? I feel like I'm doing Junior Asparagus voice for her. <laughs> so, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. 
Having fun over there? I wanted to see if I could do it. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty, just leave it to me my handy dandy magic stick. Oh, there's a lot more like cutscenes. And this one. They can't say pippity boppity boo, and they obviously want to. All right. What? <laughs> Is that this uh, series version of? No, they say Uwa. they say Uwa in this one. Yes. A huge success! What was all that just now? A, a chicken changed into a cow? That's not it. Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick, an illusion. Well, I think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? Let's talk to this person. Squish, squish. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down, she keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hanata. Hmm? Hmm? I'm Hiyoko Sayanji. Hiyoko Sayanji. I'm Hiyoko Sayanji. Ultimate traditional dancer. It's gonna be hard to differentiate her from Usami's voice. But I do see that she has little bows in her hair. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that with every Danganronpa game. I'm just bows. saying. Bows, she's the mastermind. Say that! <laughs> no. She has to stop pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Hiyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. That's creepy. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have that same niche or something. Niche. Yeah. I feel weird. Hey, what exactly are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm squishing! Squishing what? Mr. Ants, duh! Of course! I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants! Come again? <laughs> if you squish your tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound! Hey, you! Wanna do it together? H hell no! Oh, okay. <sighs> you wuss. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. That's our hope fragment. Yay. Cool, we met Hiyoko, the little sociopath. <laughs> She's a weirdo. All right, let's talk to Boobs McGee. Boobs McGee too. Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hanata. <laughs> to finally meet you. Gotcha, and who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm pretty much, I pretty much suck at remembering names and I've met so many interesting characters today. <laughs> I'm Nagito Komaeda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Oh. She kinda sounds like this, kinda sassy. All right, yeah, the name's Akane Owari. Akane Owari, she's a little tougher. She's the ultimate gymnast. I see a theme here. The more athletic they are, the more the boobs well, come out. Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. 
I can't visualize her as a normal high school uh, student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. They leveled up. Huh? Don't tell me you... Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. So I'm going to say it right now. Okay. This game, for all of its superior qualities to the first game, it does have a lot more fan service. All right. So just get ready for that. Okay. I'm ready. Um, so I do want to ask, there is one character, the chef looking character. Yes. What style of art is that? Because he's drawn differently from the other characters. Um... Is he like a different style of art, or is he just like a different variation with anything? No, anime? they just do his eyes a little different sometimes. Oh. He doesn't look like that all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because he looks really cute. It was just like, he just seemed a little he, right? Yes. Yeah. He yeah, just yeah, seemed he. out of place at first. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps the Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. I would much rather be forced to live on an island <laughs> than like a school. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know? Oh my god, why are you so upset? Like, I get it, you're being forced to do, like, to be somewhere you, you didn't expect to be, but at least it's a beautiful island yeah. and not... Nagicho's just being optimistic. Hajime's freaking out. Yeah. Probably because he can't remember his ultimate talent. I mean, I'd probably be acting like Hajime as well, so <laughs> I can't say too much. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think the situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? It's interesting that he's already using words like trauma, you know? And like, realizing this is a bigger deal than what this kid is making it out to be. Right, yeah. I find that very interesting. Yeah. A map will be displayed if you press the tab key. Maybe he's like the ultimate uh, bad feeling. The haver. ultimate pessimist. Ultimate... Uh, Proselytizer. No, that's not the right word. No, pessimist? What do you call it when you can predict the future, but... Fuck. It's a word like proselytize, but not. That's a great word, by the way. I do like proselytize. It's a good why one. I popped into Prophetic? my... Prophetic? Yeah. No, that's not it, but I'll take it. The ultimate Paranormal? prophesier. Or prophet, I guess, would be better. <laughs> <laughs> than I think we'll accept prophesier for this situation. Okay. Anyway. I said that. A map will be displayed if you I press the tab it. key. I already said it. I said the tab key. Don't I, make me repeat I myself. I said the tab key. Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, we're back oh. to the first person. So these look like everybody. We get mailboxes. Yeah. Uh. Oh hey, it's this is us. Is that us? That doesn't look like us. This cottage seems like a makeshift hotel guest room. Wait, it's flashing. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. They all flash. Wait, are we looking oh, through a camera? No. This is just our point of view. I'm not really sure what... It's just a style. It's different than the first game. It's like we have a I camera. Know it, I know it looks like it's a camera, but it's... Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's go, go find swimming? people to... I mean, I wish we could. <laughs> What's causing the water to move like that? <laughs> I love it, but I like it. I like that it's just like... Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You haven't told me your name. Oh. My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Bekomaru Nidai. Oh, no. Bekomaru. I would never want to be on a team with him. Also, Look, he's got lightning bolts going out of his head. It looks like they're coming from his eyebrows. Yes, I know. It's like this all the time. Yeah, and again, like... Like the other guy's sharp teeth. It doesn't mean anything. Great. I yeah. love it. I'm digging this. I'm also digging um, the ginormous chain around yeah. his neck. The cast in this game is much more outlandish than the first <laughs> one. Which is, like, when I first encountered all of them, I was like, I don't know how I feel about 
they're so like out there. Yeah. There's so many of them are just like total caricatures, but they're so much fun. As long as they're used well, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Um, hello. I'm Ooh. Hajime Hanata. Hey. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there. Your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Oh no. Um, I'm Hajime Hanata. No! You can be louder than that! Do it again! My name is Hajime Hanata! Pleased to make your acquaintance! I am Nekomaru Nita! Don't forget it! Even if you go to hell! <laughs> I am the ultimate team manager! Nekomaru Nita! Okay, I think you, we get it. You don't need to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree to your terms! He sure is boisterous. It's not just his voice. His whole body seems loud. Yep. Nekomaru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager? I know, that's really lame. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not on a team? He just manages one? Nope. He's not just a team manager. After all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs, managing their teams. Oh, he's a sports team, yeah, manager. Sports team manager. I was just thinking basic no, office, no, no. like team manager. No, like sports team manager. I was like, that's real. She's scratching her bugs, bug bites, everyone. That was just me scratching just my skin. My tattled bug bites are all right here on this side. Okay. This is a different side with no bug bites. I was scratching up here. <laughs> Yes. You, you know very despair. well. <laughs> no, don't be. <laughs> For instance, he led some high school rugby teams full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. Ooh. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to national victory as well. Ah. Rumor has it, he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. Ooh. If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> but with a build like his, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Okay, so that's Nekomaru. Let's get, let's talk to some girls. I feel like I've been doing a lot of the voice. Ah! We're just talking to them as we come up on them. Don't worry about it. Okay. We need to meet all of them anyway. Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. I really wish he had a high squeaky voice. I really do. This guy is already in a crappy mood. Why you? What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? All right, we get it. You're Howdy. tough. R relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Fuyuhiko? Huh? Fuyuhiko. Fuyuhiko. Sorry, I'm, I gotta be like crabby. Right. <laughs> Fuyuhiko. <laughs> What's it being? <laughs> To you be in character. character, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> what? Introduce yourselves. Hey. See, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? <laughs> Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. He's the ultimate Yakuza. Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu? Kuzuryu. Kuzu Ryu. Kuzu. Kuzu. Ryu. Ryu. Kuzu yeah. Ryu. Okay. Yeah. Fuyuhiko Kuzu Ryu. Fuyuhiko Kuzu Ryu. Got it. That's a cool one. Yeah. That's a cool name. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Um, he does kind of have like a feminine quality to him. Do you know what a Yakuza is? Yeah. It's a mobster. Ah. He's in the mafia. He's in the Japanese mafia. Yeah. That's cool. Fuyuhiko is a high school student and heir to the Ku Kuzuryu clan. Huh? The Kuzuryu clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. That's a lot. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. It might be pronounced Yakuza. I don't know. The, the heir to a Yakuza clan... And it's the Kuzuryu clan, no less. Actually. By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. So that's but gonna happen. That was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. Nagito, you're like my savior or something. 
<laughs> You're just exaggerating. Uh, guess not. Hey, bastard. Hey, bastards! If we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? <laughs> That's my favorite phrase. <laughs> make like a tree and fuck off? Yeah, because like, it just does not care that it's 100% wrong. <laughs> like, make, like I said, make like a tree and leaf. It's like, make like a tree and fuck off. You have some lines to read. Hey! <laughs> Getting into character. Aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. You are a boy, right? Oh, okay, she's a little deeper. Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girl safe. Uh, no. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. Let's... I'm Mahiru Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Oh, she kind of talks like this, okay. Mahiru, uh... ultimate photographer. I'm already annoyed by her. Actually, Mahiru is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. Mm. The ultimate photographer, huh? That'll come in handy. Well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Aww. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Hmm? Decent? <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or just, like, insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? Huh? You don't know? That's what that stuffed animal who saw me was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, come on. this joke of a school trip will be over and we can all leave this island together. That's all we have to do and we can go home? Is that true? Did she really mean that? Jeez. Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is like really important. Hey. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. Uh-oh. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so, what's this reason? What's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along. It doesn't make any sense. I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal? Really? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning. Then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Huh? You... Don't add me! What about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm Hajime Hanata. Um, it's nice to meet you too. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hanata? Did I say it right? Huh? Too bad. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable H Hajime. 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 Sorry, I'm really bad at the emphasis in it's Japanese okay. names. You know, Hajime. you know what annoys me is like when we played the first game, and I just noticed this. Like we weren't blocking much of the text because it was normally like up here. Yeah. Now it's lower. I feel like I got it. I mean, I blocked a lot of the text in the first game. Yeah. Because it it would usually hit me, Whatever, but it we, wouldn't hit you. We read nothing. it all out, so you know. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You better do your best. It's going to be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're ripped already, Hajime. Got it? I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? I don't feel like that was very hope-like. Yeah, my hero's just uh. She's kind weird. of a bitch. Excuse me. Oh, no, no, no. It's in the middle of a renovation project, so you cannot go inside. It's dangerous, you know. 
Showing up out of nowhere is even more dangerous. Okay, so we can't he's, go in the hotel building right now. He's real bothered by that. Can we go upstairs at the hotel? Um, yeah. On the side? The restaurant. Yeah. <gasps> There's another camera. What? There are cameras everywhere. Oh, I just haven't noticed them. <laughs> oh, there they are. So, this is the hotel restaurant. Amazing. It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It kind of has this tropical open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck on this island? Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. <laughs> That's right. I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Why is his nose bleeding? I Speaking know what of this which, means. it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Um, poison? I see. Hey, do you guys have a moment? Huh? Whoa, denied. <laughs> denied. Denied. Good day. Hello, it's nice to meet you. H Hello, my name is Hajime Hanata. Nice to meet you too. Hello there. Why, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? It's because his nose is a circle. He is animated a little bit differently than the other ones. Yeah. Sometimes, like right, right here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get along well. Oh, that reminds me. I have not properly introduced myself either. I am terribly sorry to keep you waiting. So I'm making her like stone. She's less she's less stoned airhead. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. Okay. My name is Sonia Nevermind. That's a weird name. She's the ultimate princess. What? So she's she's a little more composed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novoselic. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. S same here. I hope we get along too. Say, I interpreted her bow as being like stars in space, and so I thought she was gonna do- She has a bow! <gasps> no, the other one has bunnies in it! Well, it's like cats, but anyway. White as porcelain I was saying, skin, I was... sparkling blue eyes. And her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. I hope you one day describe my hair as glittering fields of wheat. Okay. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actual royalty. The ultimate princess? Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but... I'm sorry, how can you be the ultimate princess? <laughs> it's not just her beauty, but she's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um, um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Huh? What are you happy about? I... In my home country, I did not have a single friend my age whose standing in society matched my own. So to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall praise you. I shall extol your virtues. Extol my virtues? Thanks. And for the record, I'm not trying to do a British accent. I'm doing a British influenced voice. Ah. Just so everyone knows. What the? I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. Mm -hmm. Hey, you three. Am I being left off the menu or something? He's no. a little creepy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Teru Teru. It's so like you to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully... Yeah, I like it. Did he just whistle? Well. Guess that's about it. Though I like the big city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. 
<laughs> hey, are you... Understand. Refined? Cultured? Guilty as charged. No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick... Why does he keep doing this? I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pecco is actually a bit of a freak if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's oh. probably wearing a black thong, too. What are your thoughts on that? Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No thanks. Whoa. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting out. Yeah. Meet Taro Teru. The He's Hifumi classy. of this game. <laughs> you see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are so full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um... Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> We'll discuss this later. Girl, run away! I better not see you try that again. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> Alright. This guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Yeah. Yeah, so Guard your carnal treasure around that guy. Yep. That's, uh, that's Teru Teru. Let's go downstairs. So far, I'm unimpressed with him. Yeah, you're right to be. I'm glad. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand, too. If this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept. And it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? State your business. State your business. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. Is that all right with you? An introduction? Understood. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hanata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Petoyama. It is and nice to meet you too. Sorry. Hmm. I didn't know she was going to finish it. Peko Peko Yama. Okay. Ultimate swordswoman. Ooh! I like the sailor theme she's Actually, got going on. This dignified looking woman is known as the ultimate swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Peko Yama could be so skilled with a blade. That is a cute name. I've heard she's a kendo master and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. If what the rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. <laughs> I would prefer not to kill anyone. Kill? Isn't that a sword on isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a misaimed blow can be fatal. Well, an aimed blow can be fatal too. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, there's a guy upstairs you might want to meet. Huh? <laughs> there's a guy upstairs you might want to meet. <laughs> Practice some blows on. There's some girl playing an arcade game. And she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. Hajime, you haven't been properly introduced. You haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me. I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Hey, Chiaki! <gasps> oh, sorry. I must have been a little too focused on my game. A little? Are you sure about that? Oh, right. Introductions. Got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, 
and I'm a fan of all genres. Chiaki Nanami. You, Nanami. you just need to know her first name. Nice to meet you. The ultimate gamer. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Yep. Yeah, totally. Seems like this conversation is going rather slow. Well, she is gaming right now. Well, it's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? <laughs> oh, perfect, I have one. <sighs> Girl, check the nose. Chiaki does not. Chiaki cares not for your uh, shallow concerns. She's here for gaming. Got it. Okay, so we met everybody here, I think. So we'll go ahead and travel to the next area. I always think that someone's about to die every time we transition from one place to the other. Ooh, a coffee mark! Rocket punch market. Ooh, Fruit punch sounds punch. so good right now. I don't know why. Fruit punch? Yeah. Okay. I never crave food. Uh, I know, fruit that's punch. weird. Look at those cola bottles! I know. So this is a supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food or other necessities for a while. For a while? Wow. It's just a figure of speech. Is it though? But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. Oh, sorry, uh, but there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? What? Hmm. You certainly are the skeptical type. He's the ultimate skeptic. Uh, of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around, we're in this giant supermarket and there's nobody here except us. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is uninhabited? But that's exactly my point. Ugh. What happened? It's nothing. There we go. <laughs> She's staring at me funny. bell voice or her like yeah. really whiny bell voice. Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I'm sorry, how is he bullying her? Nagito likes to say things like that. I didn't do anything. <laughs> so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Of course. I don't mind you remembering it, but... She's the ultimate nurse. Girl. Well, you know. My mind is drawing a blank from nervousness. And I went through all of the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after a trip. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. Oh, God. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so... <laughs> what's her deal? <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with her? Ah, uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. I just I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. You actually want to be friends with me? Oh, I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. 
I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man, bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? Am I, am I getting her? Yeah, yeah, you, you definitely are. Okay, <laughs> let's talk to Buki. Okay, I'm excited to I see mean, how this girl, this girl. is. There's so many high-pitched girls in this. She's silly. She's okay. like, yeah, like kind of. Oh, hi, who are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello. Your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? That's right! Introductions are a go-go! E, Buki, Mio, Da! Put it together and what do you get? E, Buki, Mio, Da! The ultimate musician. More like ultimate cheerleader! No, I'm just kidding. She's punk. Yes. All right! Introduci introductions. Wow. <laughs> Introductions are finished! More importantly, check out this fantastic supermarket! I see, I see. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, jelly beans, bratwurst, pasta, ooh, melons. No problem, <laughs> she have a long nose? No. Okay. I'm just it's making just... sure it's like a perspective thing, like being silly. This game's more anime aesthetically than the last Danganronpa. So she's just so acting silly, They just do silly, stuff right? like that. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, like stuff like that guy's sharp teeth, Nekomaru's lightning eyebrows, stuff like, it's just okay. stylistic. That's all. I'm still learning, guys. Yeah, yeah. Just We're not anime watchers. We don't, like I, what's the last one we even watched? I don't know, Attack on Titan Season 1. I mean, if you don't count Avatar Last Airbender. I don't. Then, like, probably One Punch Man that. or... I watched One Punch Man. I watched some with you. Yeah. Which he does look like the grown-up version of Aang, and that makes me really happy. Yeah, okay, yeah, I did watch One Punch Man, like, two years ago. But it's making fun of anime, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's probably the last one I watched. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Ubari are, would shop here. Ubari? Yeah. She's a little less valley girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. She doesn't really do the, ah, she just kind of, she's just silly. Okay. Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all this deliciousness. Yeah. Is that's that a little bit more okay. like her. Oh, and I'm excited. I, I get hot. Sorry. <laughs> I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> the human body sure is a mystery. Um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an old girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. I thought you said old girl band. All girl band. <laughs> I was like, what? All girl band. Yeah. Old girl it's band. Just how his voice is. I'm trying to make it anyway. Apparently, their hit single, After School Poyo Yan Hour, sold over a million copies. What is Poyo Yan? I don't know. <laughs> Some weeb shit. A super popular all girl high school band. <laughs> I forgot. That's, that sounds familiar. Oh, band. What? Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences. Oh my my! Are you interested? What? You could hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Duh! And Boogie's a musician after all. I'm trying not to make her vulgar. Like Schubert. 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 Schubert? Like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Senna, I too am an awesome musician! I actually don't know. Like, I know... I just haven't heard people talk about Schubert out loud. Yeah, I've only read the name, so I don't yeah. know how it's pronounced. I read a lot, but I don't... Yeah. It's not like I talk about this shit with my friends. Like, yeah. so, uh... So I was reading, uh... Pretty good Schubert today. Uh, Nietzsche's uh, Human All Too Human... It's not, it's not, I don't know if that's what it's called. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about uh, chapter three? 
Uh, we don't, so don't do that, so we don't say these names out loud. That's you. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> don't sweat the details. Okay, that's a buki. I kind of gave up on her voice at the end there. Those are mega large cola bottles. Right? <laughs> Let's take a look at them. That's one big cola bottle. I bet it'd go flat before you could even finish drinking it. Yeah, right? We also got surfboards here. It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. And then they randomly have, like, night vision goggles and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's real weird. So these are military goods, huh? They even carry night vision goggles. Can't believe the supermarket even sells stuff like this. That would be deeply unsettling to me. What's a mono mall? It's a vending machine where you can spend mono coins. It looks like a vending machine, but it doesn't seem to accept money. Do I have to use some type of coin? Yeah. We still get mono coins? Uh-huh. Do they look like the mono coins from the first yeah. game? Yeah. That's exciting to me. Look at him run! Look at him go! Look at him go. <gasps> Airplanes! What? Hmm. Let's go check it the out. The airport? See, doesn't that look like someone's about to die? Blood red sky. Here we go. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... Airplanes? Airplanes. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was that's a Makoto about, moment. That's about, as, that's about as Makoto as it gets in this game. This is an airport, right? So those must be... Yeah. Airplanes? No, when this first happened, I was like, oh my god, here we go again. Jeez, I thought we left Makoto in the dust in the last game, but here he is. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I, I actually hit auto. Oh, you said uh, that's how uh, we can get off the island, right? Yeah. Couldn't we use those planes to escape this island? This feels very nah. lost right now. That's impossible. Yeah, because it's on a, it's on an island. It's like Lost Season 3 right now. If they were damaged, I could fix them. But it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show. Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed. He must be the ultimate mechanic. Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Usami. But who's doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right! Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. He kinda he kinda sounds more like this. Yeah, he's a little tougher sounding. Yeah, he kinda I just, I forget what they sound like, you yeah. know. Yeah. Name's Kazuichi Soda. Kazuichi? Kazuichi. Kazuichi. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> As expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey, he ain't lying. Even so. <laughs> he does sound like that sometimes, though. Even so. Oh, okay. To actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this, planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah. See. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean. Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. That was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember? The school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Oh, we're actually looking at the guidelines, right. But we never did that. Rule one. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island! Please lead peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Hmm. It's very different from the last set of rules. Rule two. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Rule three, littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Mutual, that's how I read mutual. that. Mutual, yeah, I know. Mutual. I know, I know. Rule four, the lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. Huh. For now. So it looks like they're not going to be killing each other. Looks like it. 
It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Hmm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier, it seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? But Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. So that's Kazuichi. All right, I gotta, I gotta get ready for this one. Uh oh, here we go. Y'all ready for this? Okay, I'll do my best. I've never tried him before. Fiend. Stop right there. Oh, if geez. you value your life, do not come any closer. Huh? Fuck. Hmm, I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? It's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. He sounds familiar. The ultimate breeder. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> he'll, t he'll talk about it, don't worry. Rule this world? He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. I hope he breeds like, I hope now he breeds gerd like gerbils or something. <laughs> now then, it is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Huh? Uh... Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me. Huh? What do you mean, pact? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! <laughs> <laughs> what? He has a great voice. This is fabulous. Who does his voice? I can't remember. Do you mind if I look it up or do you want me to look it up? Don't later? look it up. I'll look it up. Okay, okay. Because you okay. might get spoilers. Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. That was fabulous. Oh, thanks. <laughs> then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps. I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. <laughs> no. The only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible. So, a mere insect. Face your powerlessness! Ha! Your magic essence caps at a lowly five! Trash! T trash, really? Meal! Hmm. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me! I... My name is Gundam Tanaka! <laughs> Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, Supreme Overlord of Ice. I was joking. <laughs> this just made my whole day. Oh, look at this big squishy one. Yeah, you haven't learned their names yet, though. <laughs> Why is he the Supreme Overlord of Ice? Hold on. I don't know. H hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! <laughs> Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire! What? <laughs> using myself as a bed? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Glad you like Gundam. I love him so much. Look at that. He's one of the most popular characters in the whole series, so. It's like something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of ultimate breeder. <laughs> one of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Goldenhawk Jumpy, has this to say. 
We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> I know the fat one's really funny. Um, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. <laughs> I know, I didn't expect you to like... <laughs> I didn't expect you to like him that much. <laughs> He's so weird. <laughs> I'm just thinking about all the gerbils in my eye had growing up, and oh, I yeah. really wish I had turned out like that, where I'm like, just like, Who yeah, bastard like, master are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like walk around like, kneel before the Kimmy Empire! And then there's just like four gerbils like... <laughs> just... <laughs> just <yeah. laughs> <laughs> Just sitting on your shoulder, yeah. <laughs> we have the Bell Empire of one. The Bell Empire, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he calls them his four dark davas of destruction, <laughs> so. And they have they all have unique names, so I'm he only mentioned so... Mirage, Golden Hawk, Jumpy. So that's one of them? That's one of them. Which one is that? Do you get to just assign it to whoever you want? Uh, he has, they, 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 they each have a name, so. If they are murdered in this game... No, don't worry. Nothing happens to them. Okay. I can spoil that. Okay. Nothing happens to them. We are very serious about no, no animals no, 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 no. being killed in no, no, stories. No. They... They survive. Okay. 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 Yeah. Good to know. I'm not saying whether he does or not, but... Right, but they do. They That's do. all I Nothing care happens about. To them. Let's be real. I've heard he can tame any animal and even managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. That's cool. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I'm just thinking of, uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, squeaky, squeaker, squeaker, squeakerson, squeaker, squeakerin. Uh, I don't know. From uh, don't know. Emperor's New Groove. Oh, I don't know. Uh... The dude who has the monotone voice that's really well known. You know? The what? The dude with the really monotone voice that's like. Oh, are you talking about Kronk? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, He's like, yeah. squeaky, squeaker. What's that guy's name? Yeah. Can't remember. That's exactly how he talks, though. Uh, yeah. David. Uh, Some, yeah. Uh, he does a lot of commercial work. Uh, he was on Seinfeld. Uh, yeah. He was uh, the tick. Yeah. Uh, fuck, I always forget his name. Yeah, but he's fabulous. I want to say it's David something, but that sounds wrong. I just, I want him to, like, talk to his... I want him to be like... Patrick, uh... Warburton. War Warburton. Pa uh, Warburton. Maybe. I thought his name was David. No, I think it's Patrick Warburton. Okay. I'll accept that. Uh, I feel like that's, like, slightly off. Anyway, we gotta go or we'll be here all day. Yeah. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. Oh my god, I'm so happy that it's hamsters. Was that a school bell just now? Huh? Hajime, look at that monitor over there. I'm glad we saved Gundam for last. Oh, me too. Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I thought he was going to have another sentence, so that was why the line ended weird. <laughs> I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. What? Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Thinking solves some things. <laughs> He's just really laid back. I don't know. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried. But it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Just hang around the back, you know? Right. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if I should end the video here or if we should keep going. I mean, we've introduced ourselves to everyone, and we're running about two hours. You are going to cut out a little piece of it, maybe? Oh, like, yeah. Oh, that's, that's not like too long. It's like two minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I think we'll end right here. 
The next yeah. part can bleed into the rest pretty easily. Yeah. Okay. I mean, in this one, I just wanted to uh, Get the introduce the setting. We've been to all the areas we have access to right now. Yep. And uh, we met all the characters. Yep. And we have like, and we've looked at the regulations and stuff. So I feel like <gasps> we haven't checked on our pet. I'm sure it's fine. Ah, oh no, it's pooping. Pooping. So yeah, we just ah. cleaned it up. If the poop gets too far, it fills the pet with despair, and it starts <laughs> like it starts like dying. Dying. Yeah. That's so sad. So yeah. Um. So first impressions of Danganronpa 2. It's out of control, and I'm for it. I love. What was the last guy's name? Gundam. Gundam. Gundam Tanaka. Gundam Tanaka. I like him. Yeah. He's my favorite. Well, that's. I did not expect that. Yeah. But yeah, he is. He is fun. Um. He's great. Yeah. Uh. What are your impressions of? Here, I, can, I I know all the characters, so I can just Great. go through them okay. in order of what we met. Uh, Biakria. The hell happened. Right. What the hell happened? Yeah, that's gonna be a question on our minds for a while. Because you're I'm like all sorts of upset about it. You know, is it Biakria? And if it is, is it the same Biakria? Yeah. Or is this like an alternate dimension Biakria? Or like what's going on? Yeah, like yeah. what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very because obviously. Is this obviously... before Danganronpa one? Is this after Danganronpa one? Yeah. What's cause... going on? Yeah. 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 You don't know like it's uh, like prequel, sequel, alternate timeline, like. Yeah. Yeah. He he breaks the rules of all the game. Yeah. Like the he breaks my expectations of the game entirely, and I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I also like that he's aware of his weight, which I think is weird. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like a wink, wink, yeah, nudge, yeah. nudge. Yeah, Why is, does he weigh more than when we saw him in the first game? Yeah. Like substantially more. And why does he seem to have a thing about skinny people? Yeah. It's like he thinks that overweight, the overweight are superior. Yeah. Which is weird. And obviously not how he was before at all. Yeah. In attitude. Well, he just thought he was superior. Yeah. It didn't anyway. have anything to do with weight. That's yeah. just really interesting. We'll be uh, we'll be getting to know him a lot better. Okay. So, cool. so Byakuya, uh Hiyoko, I think, was the second one that we met. The ultimate traditional dancer. Hiyoko. Hiyoko. Oh, Hiyoko. The little girl. Yeah. With, yeah. She's weird. Yeah. I'm she excited to get to know her. Like a little sociopath, right? Yeah, she really Squishing is. Squishing the ants and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Mr. Um, ant. Then there was Akane, the uh, ultimate gymnast with. Uh, Boobs McGee. Boobs, uh, Boobs McGee Jr. Yeah. yeah, she, I mm, I don't know how I feel about her. Yeah. Mostly because she's just Boobs McGee right now, and I don't have a whole lot to go off of. She'll get her. more development, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, she's very developed already, but. <laughs> oh, boobs. Then we got, uh, oh, Nagito. The guy that's been walking around with us the whole time, the ultimate lucky student. Yeah. I love that he's the ultimate lucky student. I love that we don't know who we are. Like lucky wise or like yeah. ultimate wise. We know our name, but we don't know our ultimate, which is really weird. Yeah. Uh it looks like I'm flipping you off, but I'm just yeah. trying to keep the pinky down. It, it looks like you're doing a weird claw. I don't know how to show four. Okay, I guess I could just do this. Yeah. <laughs> That's how normal people do four. This is I think this is European. Don't oh, they Okay. Whatever. We don't have much time. Let's go. You're right. Uh what was the next one? Nagito. Oh, we're still on him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I. It's a little too relaxed for me. Hmm. I feel like I think he's, he's too chill. Yeah. Like I feel like he knows what's going on hmm. a little bit more than he's letting on. If he knows what's going on, I mean, all that's going on right now is they're just meeting each other. Right. But he's totally fine with the fact that they start at school and now they're on an island, and he's just like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's a little weird. I think everyone would be freaking out about that. I'd be happy that it was there nowhere else, but you yeah. know, I'd still be upset about it. Maybe he's just, he figures that since he's the ultimate lucky student, that it's just, uh, he's being it's lucky. just his luck. Yeah. He's just going to get through everything on his luck. Yeah. So he just he's too doesn't need to worry about it. Yeah. Because he's going to get lucky. He can never be unlucky. Or can he? Ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, then we got uh, Nekomaru, the uh, electric eyebrow team manager. He's a little much. Yeah. <laughs> he is he is a little much. Okay. Um, but I'm excited to see more of him because he is like he's insane. 
He's just very in your face. Oh, what do you think of Usami, the rabbit? Magical girl Usami. I like that she's not Monokuma. Yeah. That's cool to me. I did not expect that. I yeah. thought it would be Monokuma. I do kind of, I, I miss Monokuma. <laughs> Never thought I'd say no, that. No, Monokuma's a great character, yeah. He really is. He Usami's really, is. really cool too, though. Okay, I like that there's a hint in the intro that she's evil. That everything else Yeah, that, that was a seen, little strange, right? Yeah. Everything else we've seen, she's like, everything's great. Ah! But, like, obviously, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to kill us. Um, so we'll go through the next ones pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. Fuyuhiko, the ultimate Yakuza mob boss. Oh, psh. He needs to chill. Yeah. I'm already annoyed by him. Ultimate photographer, Mahi. Oh, I'm even more. I think I like her the least amount of everyone. Yeah? Okay. She's insufferable. We're not, like, the we're not far the off in our hey. initial impressions then. Yeah. Um, I don't like her. Ultimate chef, Teru Teru. Oh, yeah. There's him too. So I hate them both the same. Yeah. I don't like um, him. Ultimate princess, Sonia Nevermind. I want to see her develop more. Yeah, yeah. You will. Because she's just she's you will. very static she's, right now. She's funny, actually. Okay, good. Yeah, she's, she's not like, boring. I'm the princess. No, because, like, she's the ultimate princess, so, like, she'll say things like, um, that is lit. It's just like, you know, <laughs> like, she doesn't say that, but she'll say things that she thinks commoners say, but she'll say it all stiff. Oh, that's so, like, great. So, like, she's trying to fit in. Yeah. And everyone's like, she's funny. Oh, no. <laughs> she's funny. Um, and then there's, uh, Oh, Ultimate Gamer, Chiaki. I'm excited about her. She's interesting. She's, she's chill, right? Yeah. Um, I like that she gets focused. Because, like, I know a lot of people like that. Like, when they get really focused, it's hard to get their attention. Like, they actively block everything out. Yeah. So they just don't know you're standing next to them saying their name. That's like, what she does, yeah. I know people she is like that. And that's not fascinating aware. to me. Yeah. So I love seeing that represented in this. Because you never see that represented yeah. in stuff like this. So... Um, ultimate swordswoman, Peko. Ooh, this season, Sakura, she's cool. She is cool. Mm -hmm. she's she like, is really cool. She's like Sakura and Kyoko put together. Yeah, yeah, she's no nonsense. And her eyes are like... Yeah. Staring into your soul. Yeah, I like Ultimate her. nurse, Mikan. I'm so sorry that you're gonna have to voice her. Uh... <laughs> her voice is fun to do, but she's annoying. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, oh. ultimate musician Ibuki. Oh my god. Cat girl. She's fine. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. I think once I get her voice nailed down, it'll be better, but yeah. Ultimate uh, mechanic Kazuichi. He's goofy. Yeah, he is. He is goofy. Yeah. And then I already I know what you- I wanted to be a vampire. I know, right? Like, I the entire time I was playing this, I was like, why does he have sharp teeth? Why yeah. does he have sharp teeth? Well, and they just- Fucking bite something with those teeth. I know. <laughs> I was like, is it just like a grill? It's got, <laughs> yeah. it's got a massive grill. He's like a uh, riffraff, yeah. you know? Because he's got those. Yeah. Um, That's so funny. But uh, And then the very last guy. And the ultimate breeder, Gundam. Yeah, we he, know you like him. I love him. Yeah. He's I, the best. <laughs> So one one impression that I had of these characters was I was like, I feel like half of them could murder me. Yes. I feel I feel like it's a lot more dangerous cast because like in the first game it's like you meet a lot of people they're like oh hi hi I'm Hina the ultimate swimmer you know yeah you know and like there's probably like five that it was were like seriously like Byakuya, Sakura, Celeste. Like, there were only a couple that I was like, whoa, they could, Mondo, like, I don't Leon. trust them. I think they're going to kick my ass. And yeah. this one, it's like half the cast. You're like, Ooh. this person's going to try to murder me in my sleep. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, uh. I feel like I'm also more cautious of uh, people acting. It's so like the nurse girl. I feel like she's actually psychotic. Mm. The little dancer one. Obviously psychotic. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's they, open. The introductory scene is her squishing ants in front of us. Yeah. Yeah. So she's obviously gonna kill someone. Okay. Well, what do you think <laughs> they're gonna talk about at the beach? Final prediction. Um, I think at the beach, either everything's gonna get turned on its head, or Monokuma's gonna come out. I really want Monokuma to come out and be like, "We're together on this." You know, maybe this is just how things are, and it's supposed to be a utopia where no violence is allowed. So what is the motivation? 
Well, wouldn't it be interesting if killings just happened anyway? That'd be kind of cool. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we'll find out in part two, which is up right now. Whoa! So if you're this far, you can watch it right now. Clickety, it's clickety, on clack. my second channel, John Twolf. There's a link in the description to it. To the playlist Godzilla. and to part two specifically. So you can go there. I'll be posting parts two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on. On my second channel, John Twolf. And that's also where we posted the first Danganronpa. All 26 videos. So yep. that's where it'll be. Yeah. So if you want to see what happens next, you can go there like right now and find out. Do it. Obviously, if you're watching this days weeks after it's posted there's more than part two available so go watch yeah. all of them right now okay <laughs> <laughs> all at once yeah we'll uh we'll see you guys in the next video yeah do you want me to say it again yeah you do it you like it when i do that yeah i do it all the time <laughs> i'm sick of doing it <laughs> think critically <laughs>